Hello everyone, in this video I will be discussing two topics which relates to beginners or new users in Blender or the random flow add-on. If you're new to Blender, there's something we call adjust last operation or redo panels where you can edit the properties of your last action. Some people are annoyed however that the redo panel disappears every time the mouse cursor is moved outside the area of the menu. This is not unique to the add-on, but rather a Blender internal behavior. I will post a link in the description to give a more in-depth explanation of that topic to save time on this video. You can bring this back, however, using the F9 hotkey. But of course, some people might just want this menu to be static. Well, you can do that by going to the user preferences of the add-on and enabling the use confirm menu toggle. The redo panel for the add-on will then be converted to a confirm type menu where you must click the OK button for the effects of the properties to activate. You can then open the redo panel in the bottom left area of the viewport and when you modify any of the properties or toggles, then the effects will be live. This menu will stay in this place but you can still recall the redo panel anywhere in the viewport using the F9 hotkey. Next up, new users who are following some of my videos might not be getting the same cool result as I'm getting. I'm not really doing anything special and I keep using the same preset, for example, in random panels in most of the videos. It all has to do with topology. The randomizer doesn't generate the details out of thin air. It's all connected to the topology of your face selection. The way you arrange your topology will have an impact on the randomized result. This is quite true, especially for random loop extrude and random panels. If you're a beginner on both Blender and the add-on, I suggest you practice on a simple plane and cube first. Watch my long format videos. Do not follow along, but just watch it first and get the gist of what I'm doing. Also, try and read the online documentation on what the properties do for each operator in the add-on so you can follow along the video with less confusion. The add-on can be intimidating at first, especially with the amount of properties in their redo panels, but I really only use a few of them. Most are only exposed for finer controls and use case scenarios. After you're done practicing with planes and cubes, try it next on simple base meshes of spaceships or vehicles. Keep it angular and basic, and of course mostly quads because most of the random operators can only subdivide quad faces for the randomization. Try to layer the details by doing big shapes first, then creating finer details on top of that. Remember that your modeling skills outside of the add-on is your responsibility, and the more it improves, the better your experience with random flow will be. And that's it for this video. I'm trying this shorter format using DaVinci Resolve, and I hope to do it more in the future. Subscribe and hit notify if you have any questions, just the comment section or the links in the description. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.